Beaver coach Christie Side's harsh response to Caitlin Clark, Aaliyah Boston criticism. Following Wednesday's 85-83 loss at Seattle, the Indiana Fever are winless in their first five games. The Fever lost their first two by 20 or more points, but they cut the deficit from 11 to 4 to 2 in the next three. After Wednesday's loss, Indiana head coach Christy Sides called the Fever the most inexperienced WNBA team. Thus, she is proud of her athletes for coming to practice and exploring winning strategies. In preparation for their Friday night matchup versus the Los Angeles Sparks, Sides team practiced at USC's Galen Center on Thursday. Nick Hamilton of Nightcast Media asked Sides what she would tell critics about the Fever's 0-5 start. The hate and vile language directed to these players, Sides remarked. These guys show up every day to work, learn, and improve. It's unfair for them to have to cope with it after working hard every day. Short Fever vs. Storm Indiana in the first half of a WNBA basketball game at Gamebridge Fieldhouse on Monday, May 20, 2024, Connecticut's Sun guard Dijonai Carrington, 21, Defense Fever guard Caitlin Clark, 22. Doug McSchooler slash Indy Star slash USA Today Network. The Fever have had turnovers, and Wednesday saw 11 but most in the fourth quarter. Other things like offensive rebounding deteriorated as the Fever lost another close game. Caitlin Clark led with 21 points in the third quarter. However, she and starter Kelsey Mitchell shot 11 for 33 and 4 for 15 from beyond the arc. Seattle's former All-Star Neka Aguamike scored 22 points after returning from an ankle injury. Forward Aguamike scored more than Indiana's starting forwards. Melissa Smith scored 16, while Aaliyah Boston had 4 points and 4 fouls. Boston was last year's number one pick. Clark and the Fever will meet number two pick Cameron Brink and the Sparks on Friday. Boston's leadership has been amazing, Clark remarked. We navigate this together. Sides replied, Caitlin uses the word grace a lot. Give us grace. Pardon these guys. They deserve it. They don't deserve such criticism. Keep discussing the noise, but ignore it. It's hard, but that's life. Clark and the Fever face Brink and the Sparks, 1-2, at 10 p.m. Eastern Time Friday.